I witnessed, recorded, and produced these videotapes of the Washington, D.C. hearing. Their authenticity is above question. This is produced as part of the ongoing work on the website the way, the truth, and the life dot net. This is a hearing about the government licensing the electrocution of people to cause grand mall seizures. Think of the millions of dollars taxpayers' money spent to pay psychiatrists and their supporters and for the worldwide travel in putting this conference together, while the victims and opponents had to pay their own way. One comes to a choice if one believes ECT in fact works, and also perhaps that there is some morbidity associated with it in comparison to other medical problems. Cancer, coronary bypass surgery, the patient with cancer certainly has a substantial risk of continuing with the cancer, has enormous morbidity, usually with the treatment, sometimes the risk of mortality. Um, these are way out of line compared to anything we've heard rational people do make choices to perhaps lose uh, fertility, they lose uh, uh, their hair, or they perhaps can die from some of these treatments. Uh, it seems perfectly reasonable that rational people might choose to lose some of their cognitive function in order not to lose their families, uh, their jobs, and also their lives. Okay. One shock treatment can equal 150 joules of energy. This is equal to dropping a hammer on someone's head from higher than a five-story building. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.